is uh, you can't really stop the judging otherwise it's almost like trying to fight with the ego no. in some way like if you're in meditation and you try to stop the thoughts it just doesn't work <laughs> so it's more of an allowance of like in meditation watching and then as soon as you notice the trains of thought then you you bring your attention back through the desire for stillness to to let it go and come back for this moment and then again maybe watching the next train of thought and then as you notice it bring your attention to it you can release it and, and choose to come back to the stillness of the moment and so it's very much the same um, when noticing judgment rather than judging yourself for catching the judgments uh, it's more of a noticing ah there's the judger there's the judgment again and then the way that judgment is undone is is like you were describing candy it is through forgiveness it is laid aside judgment is laid aside as the mind loosens from the belief that it needs it but in this world if you're identified as a human being human beings believe they need to judge to live and to survive you, know, you need to judge right from wrong with behavior you need to like the mind is constantly judging what food is healthy what food is not healthy you know it, it's constantly judging everything it's judging perceptions it's judging do people like me do they not like me what did that mean what did this mean it's there's a lot of survival instinct and protectionism that's running in the mind behind what seem to be the surface judgments and some of the judgments are obviously outright attack thought judgments and you may think ah oh, they're the ones you know my mind's judging but those are just more of the kind of extreme judgments that are happening when the mind's in fear and in self-defense but in fact as we go deeper into this um, inquiry of really looking at the self-concept and what who I believe I am and what I feel I need and what I do out of routine and habit the unquestioned um, beliefs in my mind then you can see more the subtleties of of the judgments that are there and even preferences like if you're noticing you know I prefer my coffee to be a certain sweetness and a certain temperature and a certain strength those are judgments too you know but you go oh but that's my coffee <laughs> you know <laughs> that's normal <laughs> or you might have preferences around your kind of pillow or your kind of you know physical comforts and conveniences temperatures and you know fabrics and the way you look and the way you present yourself it's like it's it's all judgment and so again I would um, we have to be very gentle in our approach to seeing all of this you know and allow the Holy Spirit to loosen the mind from um, from certain aspects of it and so in my journey I would pay attention to when I felt like I had an assignment with the Holy Spirit and I could feel like oh this is up right now whatever this is whether I was looking at attachment um, to a certain thing like there was a trip coming to go back to my home country and so I had a lot going on in my mind around family and the belief in abandonment or betrayal or you know a specialness and that was my assignment with the Holy Spirit and so I would allow that to be given my full attention and I'd watch movies on it and I would ask for sections in the course to read on it to continue to be with the Holy Spirit so I didn't miss a thing no. when it came to this particular area of my mind and if there was some other um, assignment that I had um, like building the mystical mind training program that we have that was an assignment and that involved a lot of collaboration and asking for help which was always something that was difficult for me because I was used to you know just doing everything for myself like most people on the planet and so part of my assignment at that time was ask for help and to pray who else is to be involved 
and I was shown you know all the judgments in my mind I don't like asking I don't want to be let down I'd rather do it myself you know all that judgmental thinking would come up in one just all within one particular assignment or one through one prayer of something that I was to do let's see all my past thoughts of reasons not to do it and then through following it I'd be shown wow how all of those judgments would have stopped me and how it's actually a joy to collaborate and the ones who were they're asking you know to help and be in their function and here I was you know um, I would have held it back by my own judgments and stopped all of that if I hadn't allowed in that moment you know the seeing of them and the release to be able to f to follow through so it's a great question and it's a really big topic in the mind and uh, yeah I would say it's it's really allowing the Holy Spirit to to show you the way of like where it's really showing up right now and to use whatever those particular assignments are that you have going on to practice with seeing all your judgmental thoughts and using them to be in prayer hmm.